Unfortunately, not all dwellings built in the 20s and 30s have stood the test of time. And this place in the London suburb of Streatham is a case in point. <laughs> Home to married couple NHS business coordinator Kevin and insurance professional Matt, it's built on a large plot alongside one of the Thames tributaries. But that's where the good news ends. The 1930s was a period of sort of opulence and decoration, but this house very much was the other end of the spectrum to that. It has very odd proportions and definitely not sort of the classic proportions you'd expect with a riverside villa. So it's very, very dated. We want to bring this house in the 21st century. The chimney, which is fake bricks. The kitchen is pine and is horrible. And there's the garden room or a conservatory, which looks like a death trap. The house does have one saving grace, though. A huge back garden that Kevin and Matt are willing to sacrifice to double the size of their home. I want something that really you know, takes my breath away every time I, I walk in the front door. Not the villa entrance that I was imagining. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, uh, definitely not. Nothing grand about the uh, the entryway in the hallway. But I was expecting it to be much wider than this. Definitely. Yeah. Even the lowest size corridor that you would have for building regs is ninety centimeters, which is around three foot. Yeah. This is less than that. Yeah. This is not. This is like two foot. <laughs> and it's really dark, isn't it? Very dark. Yes. So no. when this door's closed, God, look how dark that gets. Yeah. That's really gloomy, isn't it? Yeah. It is. And this is a really sunny day today, so this is, you know, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> Crikey. Open up and let the light back in. I think I'll leave that open for a while, is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah go for it. Go <laughs> Let's for go it. through and see the rest yeah. of the house. From an artist's point of view, it doesn't work at all. You get to the top, get to this landing, and you've got lots of headroom, which is great, fantastic. But when you go into every single bedroom, whether it be the boys' master bedroom at the front, guest bedroom at the side, all you've got is slope and ceilings coming down. You haven't got the headroom where you really need it. It is the most bizarre looking house. I have to yeah. say, because it's not rendered and it's raw brickwork, it just looks like this mad shed. It looks unfinished. <laughs> but you've got so much space to extend, haven't you? We have. It's incredible, really. The build and the project is, is going to be all about creating a, an amazing house. Yeah. Um, less garden. Yeah, and less garden. Now, it's been two years since my last visit, and I'm back to see whether they've crossed the finish line. And I'm delighted to say they have. The new charcoal facade is a clever and dramatic way to unify the front of the building. But it's at the rear, where the poured concrete extension now sits, untreated and weathered, that has transformed this house into a truly brave and radical architectural statement. And that's just for starters. Inside the tired and cramped pine kitchen, along with the entire ugly back of the house, has vanished. In its place, the new three-volume extension is a revelation. A cathedral-like space of raw concrete flooded with light. Made up of three interconnected yet distinct spaces, the garden snug, dining area and minimalist kitchen, complete with a stunning utility room beyond, are all breathtaking. You wouldn't see this from the front of the house, you know, you wouldn't expect to see what's out the back. I'm a, a huge concrete fan and it, I think it just, you know, it's a sort of a brutalist dream. I, I mean, I love it. I love it. It seems like you've got the perfect house for both of you. You've got it all in this house. We have. I think we have, yeah. Everywhere you go in here is a bit of something of Matt, it's a bit of something of me. And, you know, you know, I won't just sit in one part of there and think, oh, this is all just all Matt's doing now, you know. <laughs> but everywhere has got a bit of both of us, and it's, it's really, really cool. Upstairs, the bold styling continues. They've sacrificed one of the new proposed bedrooms and indulged themselves with a large, striking master suite. Paired up with a bright and beautiful adjoining bathroom. Has it all been worth it? 
It has. Really? Yeah, it has. Yeah. Really? After yeah. everything you've been through? It is. I mean, it's been up and down, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we, we're, what, like 18 months over, um, yeah. over on time scale, uh, living on site throughout all of it. Yeah. Um, has just been really tough. But honestly, you've been brilliant. You've persevered, you've stuck with it. It's been unbelievably tough. Yes. But you got there. We did. And what a house. <laughs>